Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about how to export multiple formats at the same time in Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder. I got a request from Federico Rodriguez, who always has to export out an, a 4K version, an HD version, and a low bitrate version for his clients all the time. And right now he's struggling to do that three separate times. I'm gonna show you how we can do this all at the same time in Media Encoder. And we're going out of Premiere Pro to AME is what we call it, the Adobe Media Encoder. Um, and it's really easy and you can set this up. So you set it up once and it works every time. Let's go have a look. I've already set up this 4K sequence of these large clips and music powered by Artlist. Thank you very much, Artlist. And I want to export this out. Well, you'll export this out to begin with the same way you would export anything out in Export Media Control M on Windows, Command M on Mac. And you have to pick one format here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with uh, an H.264 all the way down to the bottom at 2160. So this is Ultra HD uh, 2160 3840. And that's what we're going to export it. But we're not going to click export. Instead, we'll push the Q button. This is going to launch Media Encoder, where we're going to create two new export formats and add this to the list. And you only have to, to create these once, and we can do it in a group and drag and drop it. It's really, really easy. Let's take a look. Okay. So here's Media Encoder loading. It will add our timeline. So there's the timeline already added. And it always places it in the location of where the original clip is. I'm going to move this uh, for all three of them, but I'm going to wait until all three are queued up and then I'll change the location. If you wanted to, you could put the three different formats in three different folders, one for 4K, one for HD, and one for low bitrate. Okay, so on the left-hand side, this is where our preset browser is. And if this is not open, you can twirl this down and there's a lot of formats here. I'm going to use the social media format and I'll use this, YouTube 1080 version. So I'll right click and create an alias and it creates the alias up here at the top. To make this easier to find, I'm going to create a new group. So I'll click on this create new group and I'll call this multi-format and I'll drag that alias into the group. I have another one here, disregard that one. That's not part of the demo. So I've got one folder a group and one preset. I'm going to create a new preset. And to do that, you click up here. There's a plus button here and a plus button there. They're different. This is adding a source. This is adding another preset. And when you click in here, you'll see two different presets, an encode and an ingest. Encoding is what we're doing now. We're making something to export out, to encode a format. The ingest format is when you're bringing something into Premiere Pro like you're making proxies. So choose encode preset, and I'll base it on the same 1080p. I could do 720 if I really wanted to make it small. So this is the new preset and I'll scroll down here to the bottom of where the bitrate is. Right now it's on 16. I'll click in there and I'll cut that in half. So this is eight. You can take this all the way down to four. So if I did a 720p, uh, four megabits per second bitrate, that's gonna make a very small file. So Federico wants to make these files because his customers ask for a tiny format that will play on a bunch of hardware that is really slow and it's not gonna play back even in HD, uh, uh, a full uh, bit rate. Okay, so I'll name this preset low bit rate. Click okay. And you can see there it's created. If it didn't create it in the group, then you can just drag it into the group. So now I've got a new group called multi-format. This is the 2160p um, export that I've got. All I have to do now is drag the folder 
into here and you see the plus show up. It doesn't matter if I'm dragging in the bottom or the top and I let go, it now adds both of those. So now I have three separate exports. Now I'll select all of them, click in this part where the output file is, not in this part, which changes the preset. Click on the output and here I'll just stick it in my test folder. Like I said, I could choose three different folders here and export to three different locations. So now that I've got that set, I'll just push the play button here and start the queue. And you'll see down at the bottom, it's going to start the queue and start exporting out those versions. There we go. And it's doing it simultaneously. Oh, by the way, all the video clips in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait for it. Okay, you can see that one's done, that one's done, and the next one is done. And we get green check marks up at the top that everything was successful. All right, it's done. I'll click in the output file location to open that up. And here are the files. And you can see the uh, Ultra HD, they're all named based on the sequence that I, I could have renamed them here by opening up and clicking and renaming, but I could rename them here at the same time. So they're all called the same thing. And you can see the differences in size and the, the low bit rate is half of, of that version. So we'll open that one up, play that back. So you can see even the low bit rate version looks good. It's gonna play back on a lot of systems. Like I said, I could have made that 720 if I wanted to. So that's good. The full HD is looks good. And the large Ultra HD also looks good and plays back. I also want to show you that if we do choose this plus button that I mentioned before, If I pick that same project and open that, then I'll see all of the different sequences in that project. So I could have loaded it that way without having to open Premiere Pro. So you could just launch Media Encoder, pick a project and pick a sequence and export it. One last thing I wanna show you, if you are running both Premiere Pro and Media Encoder at the same time, in the edit menu on Windows and the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, in preferences, playback, you'll see pause media encoder queue during playback. This option is turned on by default, which means if you're running both of these, which you can, running media encoder in the back and Premiere Pro in the front and, and hoping to export those files when you work, the default setting is to pause media encoder. So every time you grab the playhead or hit play, media encoder will stop encoding until you've let go of the playhead or you stopped playing. That's the default because not everyone has a powerful enough system to run two complete applications rendering video at the same time. Because Premiere Pro has to do a lot of work just to play back those videos. It has It's using the Mercury playback engine. Either software or, or hardware, GPU, doesn't matter. It will pause both. But if you're doing this, uh, and if you're exporting something that doesn't require as much power, just a standard HD, not a lot of effects or color, and you have a powerful enough system, you can turn pause off. Doesn't mean your computer's gonna be twice as fast, but you might get away with encoding in the background and editing in the foreground. Give it a try. If uh, everything slows to a crawl, then uh, you're gonna have to go back to leaving that paused. All right, there you go, uh, Frederico. Hopefully that answers your question. You make a little group there and you drag it on. You can make as many multiple groups and add as many formats as you want into that group and make multiple format output at the same time a reality in Adobe Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. All right, if you're new to video or build and you found this informative, 
please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. We thank all of our wonderful PayPal donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm here to answer all of your questions.